Hi everybody and welcome to today's HRX workout with me. My name's Olivia and I'll be your coach and with me are my tribe, Alina and Vivesh. Before we get started, a big thank you to you for making the commitment to be fitter and stronger every single day, even if that means working out from home. Together, my tribe and I will help you to achieve your health and fitness goals by taking you through this dynamic workout that will help you to strengthen your back and your arms. We will start the workout with an eight minute warm up, followed by 26 minutes of main body exercises and finish with a six minute cool down. For those of you who are new or just starting out with your fitness, I would like you to refer to Alina. She will take you through the scaled back or beginner versions of today's exercises. If you are an advanced cult athlete and you've been exercising for six to eight months or more, I would like you to refer to Vivesh. He will take you through the advanced versions of today's exercises. Now before we begin, make sure that you have a water bottle and a towel handy. All right team, let's begin with our warm up. First up, we're gonna do 30 seconds of butt kicks. So bring your hands behind your backside and from here, kick your heels up to touch your hands. All right team, Alina, are you ready? Vivesh, are you ready? Then let's begin in three, two, and one. Chest up and kick your heels up nice and high all the way up to your backside. That's it. Finish this off in five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Take a quick breather. The next warm up exercise that we're going to move into is your jumping tees. So you'll start with your feet underneath the hips. Arms out in front of you, jump out, bringing your arms out to the side and back into the center. All right, team, when you're ready, let's begin. Starting in three, two, and one. Good job guys, you should be starting to feel a little bit warmer now. Keep going for another three, two, and one. Great job, we're off to a fantastic start. We're now gonna move into a few mobility exercises to get the body ready for the main part of the workout. The first exercise is your prisoner good morning. So what you'll do is you'll start with your feet underneath the hips, bring your arms up at your temples, and from here, you will tilt with your hips forward and then squeeze your glutes at the top. You should feel this stretch through your hamstrings. All right, team, when you're ready, let's get started. Arms up, and we begin in three, two, and one. Keep going team, last five, four, three, two, and one, shake it out. Okay, the next stretch that we're gonna move into is your T-spine rotation. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to the floor, starting in a high plank position, and from here, you will rotate, bring your arm up to the ceiling, and then come back down. Then switch to the other side. All right, team, come on down and join me on the floor. And let's begin your T-spine rotation in three, two, and one. We've 
You've got 30 seconds in this position. Last three, two, one, and recover. Great job, guys. Come up to standing. Your next stretch is your Cobra to Mountain. So you will begin this exercise on the floor. Chest to the ground. Start with your hands close to your shoulders. Push your chest off the floor into Cobra. Tuck your toes under and move into Mountain. Drive the heels into the floor. Lower your knees down, lower your chest down and repeat. All right team, come down and join me on the floor and let's begin. So chest down first, hands by your sides in three, two, one, let's go. All right, team, let's go for one more rep and we'll finish it in three, two, one, and recover. Fantastic, guys. We've got one more stretch to complete round one and that is your scapular raises. So what you will do is you will come back down to the floor, hands underneath your shoulders, come up onto your toes into a high plank, brace your abs and from here, push your chest out and then retract the scapula. All right, team, come on down and join me for this warm up. And we will begin in three, two, and one. Remember, guys, this is a very small movement and it's difficult to do. So pay attention to the form. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Great job, guys. How are you feeling, Elena? How are you feeling, Vivesh? We're getting warm already. How are you guys feeling? All right, everybody. It's time to get into the main part of today's workout. But first up, the team and I are gonna demonstrate to you the three key exercises. The first one is a beast position arm renegade row. So what you will do is you will come down to your mat, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and from here, take your knees about an inch away from the floor, slowly row up, hold for a second, and then come down and change sides. All right, team, come on down and let's demonstrate a couple of reps. For my advanced cult athletes, you will refer to Vivesh. Vivesh will be doing 10 reps on each side of his beast position, alternate arm renegade rows. If you're a beginner, you will take the scaled back version with Elena. She is doing the quadruped position, arm renegade row, and she will do five reps on each side. All right guys, that's great. The next exercise that we have is your bent over swimmer. So what you will do is you'll start with your feet underneath the hips, toes pointed forward. From here, tip from your hips, bring your arms out in front of you, palms together, take a big reach out with the arms behind your back and then rotate back to home. Keep your back nice and straight and create big smooth circles with the arms. All right, team, come on down and let's demonstrate a few reps. That's it, big circle. Reach out and rotate your palms to face the ceiling at the back and then palms together at the front. All right, guys, that will do. Thank you for that one. The next exercise is your beast front step. 
So what you will do is you will come down to the floor, starting in your beast position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And from here, you will come back, step forward, fold unfold, step forward. All right, team, come on down and let's demonstrate a couple of reps. For my pros, you will work with Vivesh. He is taking the full beast fold unfold with a forward step, bringing his foot up where his hands are. He will be doing this move for 40 seconds. If you're a beginner, you will take the option of the beast fold unfold with a leaner and you will be doing this movement for 20 seconds. All right, guys, that's enough. Stop there. So, Tribe, these are your three main movements for today. Before you get going, take a sip of water if you need, get everything ready, and let's begin today's workout. Okay, everybody, let's begin the main part of today's workout, starting with the first exercise, which is your beast position arm renegade row. Come down to the floor, And let's begin in three, two, and one. Advanced athletes refer to Vivesh. You will be doing 10 reps on each side of your beast position arm renegade row. For those of you who are beginners, you will take the scaled back option with Elena. She is doing the quadruped position, arm renegade row, for five reps on each side. When you have completed your reps, take 20 seconds of rest. Well done, Elena, great start. Fantastic, Vivesh, well done. Hopefully you guys have finished your reps as well. Now is your time to take 20 seconds of rest. Okay team, your rest is pretty well over. Next up, let's move into your bent over swimmer. Get ready to go in three, two and one. Advanced athletes who are working with Vivesh, you will do this move for 40 seconds. Those who are scaling back, you will do 20 seconds with Elena. Elena and beginners, get ready to finish in three, two, and one. Your time is up. Take a recovery. My advanced athletes, you're just over halfway, so keep going. All right, guys, last five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing, shake it out. You've earned yourself another 20 second recovery. Remember, if you need to hydrate at any point, please take the time to do so in your rest period. Okay, everybody, let's move into the third and final exercise for round one, and that is your beast front step. Come down to the floor, start in your beast position, and we will begin in three, two, and one. Elena and beginners, Last few reps and finish in three, two, and one. Recover. Well done on completing round one, Elena. How do you feel? All good, so far so good. Keep going, Vivesh. Last reps in three, two, and one. Woo, that's one round down, everybody. Take some time now. You've got 40 seconds of rest. 
And then we're going to move into round two. Alright Tribe, are you ready to get straight into round two? Then let's begin. First up, your beast position arm renegade row. Come down to the floor. We will begin in three, two and one. Let's go team. Remember your rep count for your beast renegade rows. You will be doing 10 reps on each side if you're really trying to push yourself today. Otherwise, take the option with Alina for five reps on each side. Have you guys finished your reps yet? If you have, take some time to enjoy the rest. Fantastic guys, take 20 seconds now to rest and recover. Next up is your bent over swimmer. So when you're ready, come and join me in three, two and one. That's it team, one more rep Alina. Three, two, one, and that's time. Take a break. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Let's rest. You guys have earned yourselves another 20 seconds rest. All right, team, let's move on to your third and final exercise for round two. And that is your beast front step. Come down onto the floor and I'll count you guys in. We will start in three, two and one. Awesome job, guys. Elena, you've just got one more rep to give me and we finish in three, two, and one. Come up, enjoy the recovery. Staying strong on the I like it. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Recover. Shake it up guys, you've just completed round two. Let's take 40 seconds to recover. All right guys, your rest is almost done. Let's move into your third round. We're gonna head back into your beast position, arm renegade rows. Come down to the floor. Let's start round three. In three, two, and one. Remember your reps guys, 10 reps on each side if you're advanced 
or five reps each side if you're a beginner. Well done, Elena. How's everybody going at home? Are you almost done with your reps? You've got it, Babesh. Come on. Amazing. Take 20 seconds of rest, guys. Another one well deserved. Next up, we have your bent over swimmer. So come on down. We begin in three, two, and one. For those of you who are scaling back, we've got one more rep and then we are done in three, two, one. Beginners rest. Advanced cult athletes, you're just over halfway. Finish it in five, four, three, two, one. Let's take a break. You've got 20 seconds. It's time to move on to your next exercise, and that is your beast front step. Come down to the floor, and we'll begin in three, two, and one. Beginners, give me one or two more reps. You'll be done in five, four, three, two, one. Well done on completing round three. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing job, guys. All right, team. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better after that recovery. Now let's take some time to move into our cool down. Come down to the floor. We'll begin with our first stretch, and that is the trapezius stretch. From here, you'll take one hand, put it over your head, and then gently tilt your head to the side, using your hand to create some pressure. We will hold this position for 20 seconds on each side. Team, get ready to change in three, two, one. Other side. All right, hold it a bit longer for three, two, and one. Release. Your next stretch is your seated forward fold. So what you will do is you will come down onto the floor, bring your legs out in front of you, flex the feet, and from here, try to reach out towards your ankle or your toes. Try to bring your chest down as close to your legs as you can. Halfway there, guys. Big, deep breath to try to lower your body closer towards your legs. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Fantastic, guys. The next stretch is your child's pose. So stay down on the floor. Sit back over your ankles, 
Walk your hands out in front of you and lower your chest to the ground. We're going to hold your child's pose for 40 seconds. That's it guys, try to walk your hands out as far away as you can and that's going to help you get deeper into this stretch. Finish in five, four, three, two and one. Come up to seated. Fantastic guys, a couple more stretches to go. The next one is your Sphinx Pose. So what you will do is you will come down, chest to the floor, hands by your shoulders, and then lower your elbows down, bring the chest up, and then gently tilt your head and your neck back. You're gonna hold this pose for 40 seconds. And that one's done. Well done, guys. Next up, you're gonna roll onto your back and we're gonna move into the supine twist pose. From here, legs start out straight, arms by your side, bring one knee up to your chest and then drop the knee down to the floor and then turn your gaze into the opposite direction that your knee is facing. You're gonna hold this stretch for 30 seconds and then we will change to the other side. Change sides. So rotate round. That's it, drop your knee to the floor. Try to keep your arms flat on the ground and gaze to the opposite direction. Feel pretty good, right everybody? Alright guys, let's come up in three, two, and one. That's it. Come on up, Avesh. Come on up, Alina. Amazing guys. Well done, Alina, for smashing it. Well done, Vivesh, and well done to you guys, our champions, for completing today's challenging and intense. HRX session. Remember to stay hydrated and take plenty of rest at the end of your session. And on that note, before my tribe and I sign off for today, come on over Vivesh, come on over Elena. Hands in, in three, two, one, we yeah, are the cult. Thank you so much for joining us everybody. We hope to see you soon for another great workout. Bye for now.